millions of women, millions of girls, are moving from villages to cities, from one country to another country, seeking employment as domestic workers. Migrant domestic workers will travel often to a country where they don't even speak the language. And in these circumstances, if they run into trouble, if they're being exploited, if they're being abused, they often don't even know who they can turn to for help, even how to contact the police. They're really at the mercy of their employer. This is what human rights organizations say is taking place unchecked in a number of Lebanese homes. Abuse and violence against domestic workers. Domestic work is often not part of the labor code of many countries. And because domestic workers are working in private households, they're very removed from the public eye. Their employer may confiscate their passport so that they're literally trapped. And so as a result, they often will put up with the most extreme conditions, the most extreme abuse, excessive work hours, 14, 16 hours a day, seven days a week, as well as physical, emotional, and even sexual abuse. A lot of domestic workers begin working when they're very young. Girls will start when they're 11 or 12, or in some cases, even at younger ages, at seven or eight. There's at least 15 million children worldwide that are employed in other people's homes. Many of them are girls from very poor rural areas, and they see domestic work as an opportunity for a better life. But too often the reality is completely different. <laughs> Domestic workers have become powerhouses on behalf of their rights, speaking up, demanding rights, and saying, we will not stop until we are recognized in June of 2011. The members of the International Labor Organization adopted a new convention for domestic workers. For the first time, we now have global standards that recognizes domestic workers are, in fact, entitled to basic labor rights. It prohibits child labor, which means that children who are too young should not be involved in domestic work. It is a moment of, of hope. Domestic workers who have been excluded for many years now see their countries adopting laws to make sure that their rights are protected. Governments can make a dramatic difference in the lives of millions of women and girls by putting the Domestic Workers' Convention into practice and to end the abuses that they suffer.